here we will see another way to define a circuit for example let's we have this circuit this is a multiplexer circuit so in this method we label the wires in the circuit for example this is an wire A this is a wire cell here and this is a wire B A, B and cell are already inputs and for the other wires for example this one I will say this for example cell not for example and this is C for example and this is D and after that I will write a code for the part of the circuits by calling the logic gates for example for this part of the circuit I will write a code as and and firstly output of the gate C and the inputs A and cell and for this part of the circuit here cell and cell nut I will write a code like first I call nut gate and output cell nut and cell which is the select port and for example for let's make it another color for this part of the circuit or this part, part of the circuit I will write it's an end gate right and and the output is D inputs are cell not and B and for this part of the circuit I will write a code by firstly calling OR gate and outputs out inputs are C and D inputs of the main blocks are A select and B and output is out and the extra wire that I label are wire C D and select not and firstly I write here end gate I have another end gate I have not gate and, uh, and I have or gate I should give name for this gate it may be an any name but I will write unit 1 to unit 4 for convenience unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 and unit 4 here now I will write inputs and output for these gates let's start from end gate let this one be unit 1 here output of it is as you can see here C and inputs are A and cell so C A cell and for let this one be unit what was that end gate so it may it should be unit 2 output is D inputs are cell not and B output is D inputs are cell not and B and for the not gate here as you can see this is unit 3 here output is cell not and input is cell so it is cell not input is cell and for unit 4 this is unit 4 output is out and inputs are C and D out C and D this is the way of writing code by calling the logic gates now let's write a test bench 
test bench of the circuit should be like this let it be the test bench output out tb for example inputs are for example here a tb and cell tb and b tb here let's write the code inputs of the test bench should be in form of reg so a tb cell tb and b tb an output should be wire wire out tb for example and i call max unit under test and will make necessary connections here i connect a with a tb cell with cell tb b with b tb and out with out tb and i will change the inputs initial begin and here I give different values in first two cases select port is 0 and inputs are different first the A is 0, B is 1 and then A is 1, B is 0 and then the final two cases as you can see from here select port is 1, 1 and firstly A is 0, B is 1 and then B, A is 1, B is 0 multiplex circuit will select one port for example if select is 0 one the value of the one port will be directly moved to the uh, output it may be a on a, a or b i don't know uh, we'll we will see after the simulation so in the other three cases since select is one in this case the other port will be directly moved to the result so let's see here between 0 and 10 select is 0 and output is same as B again select is 0 between 10 and 20 and output is same as B so it means that when select port is 0 B input is selected and output is directly the same as B so it should be the opposite for the next cases so let's check between 20 and 30 this time select is this time select is 1 here and output should be same as A as you can see your A is 0 and output 0 and again between after 30 nanoseconds select is again 1 and A is 1 output is 1 which is same as A so the circuit operates properly so th this was another way to write a code for this type of circuits by just calling the name of the logic gate and write input and outputs of that logic